thing. But I'm stressing out, you guys. Believe it or not, I missed my, the first train. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? He's not answering. You know, 20 minutes go by, and then I'm like, hello. He goes, oh no, babe. <laughs> I'm not at that hotel anymore. Like, why does this happen whenever I try to surprise people with things? It just always, something always turns left. Good morning, everyone. Actually, let me open the blinds for better lighting. Good morning, everyone. So today is Saturday. I just got up, brushed my teeth, brushed my hair. Um, and now I am about to get dressed and leave in about 10 minutes to my lash appointment. It's 8.23 in the morning right now. I am so tired. I went to sleep at like 2 a.m. because I was finishing packing and cleaning the house. And there's still a few more things I need to do once my lash appointment is over. I'm going to come home. Um make some breakfast and then do those dishes because I don't want any dishes in the sink before I leave so I'm gonna do the dishes and then I just kind of need to re like rearrange my packing because I feel like I'm taking a little bit too much stuff right now my suitcases are so heavy so we're gonna see about that I don't know but I need to like figure something out my boyfriend is waking up in six minutes so he can get dressed for his game today. So I'm probably gonna FaceTime him for a little bit because he's not gonna be able to see me today because like I said, he doesn't know I'm coming. So I'm gonna have to be avoiding him in his FaceTime calls today. Luckily, I did say he has a game today. So I hope he's gonna be like more distracted with that. And the time that I'm traveling there is like, the time that he should be playing and then the time that he, sh he should be on the bus going back to his stadium. I don't know what that's called. I keep saying like stadium or training center. I don't know what the word is, like their facility. And then I'll be there. So, so excited. Miss him so much. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready and get dressed and head out. I wanted to show you guys the outfit of the day. So, I'm wearing my Playboy sweater with some Gucci sweatpants and then I have on a Gucci headband. However, I don't really think the headband is going to be like part of the look today. I'm just wearing it right now because it's really cold outside and I don't want to put on another jacket because I'm going to be inside when I'm getting my lashes done. I'm also gonna be in an Uber on the way there, so I'm not gonna be really outside, but for the moments that I am, I don't wanna get sick or anything. So just this to keep, ow, that was really loud. I hit this and I, it like echoed in my ears. But um, just this to keep my ears warm for the morning. Um, but I think like later in the afternoon, I'll take it off. But yeah, this is the outfit I'm also gonna wear. I'm gonna wear these black Converse that I got out here, they're like, fuzzy can you guys see i love these shoes so i'm gonna wear these today with this outfit so yeah outfit of the day okay bye <laughs> we're all done look at how pretty she did her thing thank you Currently in the mall, came to get my eyebrows done. They look great. Now I'm going to go back, oh, go to Starbucks and get something to drink and then drop off some donuts to the girl who did my lashes. By the way, you guys know I only promote great businesses. If you're in Newcastle, get your lashes done by her because she killed that shit. I feel cute. <laughs> and I'm back, eyebrows are done. Lashes are done, feeling great. I also got a new bra from Victoria's Secret while I was out, but I'm stressing out, you guys. Basically, I was going to take the train at 4 p.m., get there around 
9 p.m. and somehow convince my boyfriend to like come downstairs from his hotel room and I would surprise him then. But now I'm thinking like he's gonna want to FaceTime me as soon as he gets home. Like I just know him, you know? He's gonna FaceTime me once he's in his hotel room. At that point in time, I'll still be like 30 minutes still on the train. So I won't be able to answer his call. So I don't know what excuse I would come up with. So instead, plus I don't want to like miss the train. Since I'm taking all these bags, it's going to be super heavy. And I don't want to be like rushing with suitcases down, you know, train station. So I'm thinking I should go a little bit earlier. So I looked up the next train to leave that will get there around the same time. And it leaves at 3 o'clock. it's currently one so I need to cook myself some food clean those dishes rearrange my packing and make it to the train station by three so I can hop on that train now that train arrives to the um, country or like this the area that he's in at 8 p.m. which is which is perfect because he gets home well, they make it back to the facility at 8.30. So I'll just have to wait in the little lobby room for like 30, 40 minutes. But then when he walks in, I'll be like, hey, surprise. Let me stop talking and actually get to doing stuff because I'm going to panic if this ends up being super, super last minute. <laughs> Breakfast is served. I'm just having toast with eggs. It looks pretty, pretty plain, but... This should hold me over until tonight. I finished packing all the suitcases and the bags, so I'm ready to go. Once I'm done eating, I'm just gonna do the dishes and then I'm ordering my Uber to the train station. Thank <laughs> you. 
When I tell you I am going to murder this boy, you guys, I'm literally almost to the hotel he was staying at. I'm texting him like, hey, what are you doing? This is, I'm like 30 minutes away, yeah? So I'm just trying to make sure he's, you know, in the room, like, you know, whatever. So I'm like, hey, what are you doing? He's not answering, you know, 20 minutes go by. And then I'm like, hello. He texts me back and he's like, just got in the hotel room. I'm like, okay, bet. Remember you guys, I told you, I, well, I don't know if I said this, but I think I said I was gonna have like the hotel call. No, I don't remember. I, my plan was I was gonna tell him that I ordered him dessert and to go get it and we were gonna have a FaceTime date with dessert. Well, I text him, I say, I ordered you dessert. It should be there soon. Just want to make sure you were there. He goes, oh no, babe, <laughs> I'm not at that hotel anymore. They switched my hotel. <laughs> you guys. That would be perfectly fine if the area I'm in was near his fucking hotel. His hotel, I literally passed it. Like, I think when I literally was vlogging, you guys heard all the loud people chanting. That was the exit I was supposed to get off to get to the hotel he's at now. So that's not even what I'm pissed about, though, you know, because that's just like a quick turnaround. What I'm pissed about is this. These are the bags I have, you guys. These suitcases are heavy as hell men have even helped me today and they have been like what the hell is in these suitcases these are heavy yeah two duffel bags okay cool the train dropped me off there right there across yeah so how do i get across i had to climb not climb i'm gonna sound like a fucking animal but like i had to carry these suitcases up these stairs carry them across the bridge and then carry them down these stairs you guys and on top of that i just tried to get a cab because i was like you know what i didn't want to do that stair situation so i tried to call a cab so i could get a cab because it's only like a 15 minute drive from here but this town is so small there's no fucking cabs there's no ubers none of that so i literally have to wait for the next train to come to get back over there like back the way i came i literally have to wait 30 minutes until the next train mind you i've already been waiting 15 gonna kill this boy bro like why does this happen whenever i try to surprise people with things it just always something always turns left i just don't understand I mean, it makes for great content. I'm sure you guys are loving this right now. But me, I'm stressed and I have to pee. There's no toilets around here. None whatsoever. There's not even cars. Even if I wanted it, like there was a toilet nearby, there's no car to take me to the toilet. <laughs> Hey, yo, man, uh, yeah. I think it's outside. It's outside? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just want to clarify, you guys. He was definitely cheating on me. What? <laughs> like, bless your mind. No, but I feel like a lot of you guys are going to comment. Like, oh my God, he must have been cheating on her because he wasn't All answering right. his phone. Because you were answering your phone when I was calling you. 
but they don't let me I, I need to like basically may add this video to clarify some things because even myself watching it it would seem like no, if i no. didn't know our situation <laughs> that he was cheating no, but listen no, no. when i said in the video that he wasn't texting me back for like 20 minutes and then he finally told me like oh he switched hotel rooms the reason he wasn't texting me back is because that was the time between him getting off the bus from his game to him get going to the hotel and getting situated into the the hotel okay so that's the 20 minutes the reason his hotel got switched is because his team books his hotels so they switched his hotel from the last hotel he was in to the new one so just to clarify that he did not switch his own <laughs> hotel because that's what that like sounds like I, I, <laughs> He doesn't understand why I'm explaining this, but you guys know why I'm explaining this because I already know you guys had thoughts in your heads, probably already commented. Now you want to go and delete that comment. Go ahead. So yeah. And then what else did I want to clarify? Oh, his reaction. Well, you can clarify your reaction. What were you thinking when you saw me? I was just in shock, bro. Why were you in shock? Because I thought I was getting cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're an idiot. <laughs> Turned out to be a bigger slice. Huh? Oh my, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was in shock because <laughs> he, he did not expect me to be there because I guess I really played it off well that I was not coming and like that he was, I was still home. He truly and honestly believed that. So when he saw me there, he was actually genuinely shocked. Even when we went to the hotel room, you guys, I was like explaining to him about my entire journey and how difficult it was to get there, which you guys have seen yourselves. And he literally was telling me like, I'm not even listening to what you're saying. Like, mm -hmm. I can't believe you're here. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and kept kissing me and stuff. So he was just genuinely in shock. Oh, he was also a little bit mad that I traveled by myself without telling him. Yeah. But yeah, that was, that was it. So yeah, before you guys go spewing any negativity, just wanted to clear that up. I usually would say I don't feel like I need to clear anything up. But in this situation, I really do think like you guys don't know our dynamic. You don't know what he does for a living. You don't know his situation. So I feel like this really needed to be explained because it definitely could have came off in a different light. So now that that's clarified, our relationship is very healthy. We are in a great spot. You're doing amazing in case you're concerned at all. We can see you guys in the next vlog. I love you guys.